Why does the Chinese Air Force consider J-16 as the backbone of its fighter fleet? According to recent media reports, the PLAAF J-16 fighter has been seen flying in a formation near the Eastern Theater Command. The J-16 is in service with the PLAAF since 2015. China operates approximately 175-plus J-16 long-range strike fighters. As we all know, due to one of the most critical combat indicators of the current fourth-generation aircraft technology, the research, and development work of ultra-stealth capability is mainly concentrated in the hands of the world's top powers such as the United States, Russia, and China. Judging from the current development trend of armament technology around the world, other countries have not yet been able to independently crack the key parameters of the fifth-generation fighter stealth technology. The J-16 is seen as one of the most advanced and important fighter aircraft in the fleet of the People's Liberation Army Air Force. The aircraft is capable of performing long-range air combat and patrol missions. It has the maximum takeoff capacity of 35,000 kilograms, 77,162 pounds, and a long range of 3,900 kilometers similar to Russian Su-30 after all it's an upgraded variant of Su-30, Su-27. Countries like the United States, Russia, and China have been known to have mastered stealth technology. These three countries represent the current top combat power right now. The fourth-generation fighter aircrafts developed by these nations are able to perform different types of combat missions. The F-15 Eagle, F-18 Super Hornet, Su-30, etc. are good examples of fourth-generation jets. For modern warfare, the role of the fourth-generation aircraft is still relatively large, especially when large-scale frontal battles for air supremacy are launched in large airspaces, the fourth-generation aircrafts are still the main force, but if technologies of the fifth-generation aircraft are used on them, it will allow these fourth-gen aircraft to gain some combat advantages of the fifth-generation aircraft. So why this is not applied? In the present scenario, the overall cost of the fifth-generation fighter is still relatively expensive, and it is not suitable for super-large batches. Some combat missions that are not too important are more suitable for the fourth-generation fighters. After all, other fifth-generation aircraft capabilities are relatively easy to achieve compared to stealth fighters. Many technical and tactical features of fifth-generation jets can be achieved by in-depth improvements inside original fourth-generation aircrafts. Therefore, under the guidance of this kind of combat thinking of having a certain generation difference advantage at the smallest cost, a type called the 4, fifth gen has emerged. This type of fighter is a fourth-generation aircraft without the benefit of stealth. Russia calls such fighters 4 fighters. Among them, the more famous ones are the Rafale series fighters that are representing the aerial power strength of French aviation, and the newly launched F-15EX fighters of the United States. China has also developed J-10C and J-16 fighters in this category while India Tekus Mk-1A will join soon the category. The JF-17 Block 3 inches fighter uses the divertilous supersonic inlet jet engine air intake system used by many fourth-generation and fifth-generation stealth fighters. It can be clearly said that by using the available technology of the fourth-generation jets, the combat capabilities of fourth-generation jets can be greatly improved. Therefore, these type of fighters, after their upgrades are capable of performing the combat missions of fourth-generation jets, such as using its own over-the-horizon combat advantages to accurately eliminate enemy fighters outside the defense zone, using its own super-maneuverable ability to evade the attack of enemy fighters, etc. Even under certain circumstances, the fourth-generation fighters can also become the command center and information processing methods in the aerial battlefield, commanding or guiding their own drones to conduct operations, etc. That is to say, for the J-16, a 4, fifth gene fighter, it reflects the characteristics of modern warfare. For example, the F-15EX of the US military is designed to consider the future of combat operations with supersonic weapons. The concept, which fits the fast, accurate, and powerful combat characteristics of supersonic weapons, makes it part of the future US military's over-the-horizon strike system. Compared with the highly expensive expensive F-35, 
The F-15EX, which has some fifth-generation aircraft combat capabilities, highlights its cost-effective advantage. Similarly, the J-16 of the Chinese Air Force is not only equipped with an active phased array radar, which makes its detection capability ahead of the traditional fourth-generation fighter, it also inherits the excellent aerodynamic shape and air mobility of the Flanker series fighter. In terms of performance, compared to the Su-35, the J-16 has even developed a silent flanker version J-16D on the original basis. In other words, this j 16 capable of performing electronic warfare can not only act as an independent unit to undertake tactical-level electromagnetic interference to the enemy's important detection facilities in the future. According to Chinese media the performance of the J-16 has basically reached the standard of the fourth-generation aircraft. In theory, it has the ability to completely cooperate with fifth-generation aircrafts. There is a high probability that the J-16D will play a very important role in the Chinese Air Force's future electronic warfare combat capability. Therefore, the J-16 series can be regarded as a relatively powerful new version of the Flanker series fighter. After all, the Russian-made Su-35 which is known as the Ultimate Flanker, is also in service with the PLAAF.